aggressive manipulative or mobilization of the neck joints by wrapping a towel around the neck and then yanking aggressively. Or an alternative would be a wise pack that's placed one strap behind the skull and another one under the jaw, tight to handle and then pulled aggressively, much like the info video. Both of those are dangerous. And what makes them dangerous is the fact that the neck has small joints. Let me show you. The neck or the cervical vertebra constitutes or is made of seven bones that stack up on top of each other. Each one connected directly to the other via the ligaments and the spinal muscles. As you can see, the neck joints are small, tiny little joints. The discs, as represented here with these plastic things, are soft and cushiony. The most sensitive structure that is visible from this angle that you're viewing is one, of course, or these outpoking, the yellow fibers representing the nerve. But more critical even than the nerve itself is this red tubing. The red tubing represents the vertebral artery. The vertebral artery comes through small opening. Let's see if we can zoom in and we can show this for you. Small openings, tiny openings, right next to the bones in your neck. Now, oftentimes, and in most instances, people who have neck stiffness, neck discomfort, will have some arthritic conditions, some degenerative changes. And as a result of those arthritic and degenerative changes, they may have some symptoms, including stiffness, which they turn to physios, chiros, or whoever out there in the world to help them alleviate some of those symptoms, which is fine and perfectly normal. However, some may provide you a very aggressive method of care. Now, doing so will hurt these joints, but also rub against and disturb the vessel, the vertebral artery. And if that is aggressive, or if you have a bit of spondylosis, a bone spur, or degenerative changes, specifically in your unsinate processes, which develop in early childhood and finalize in development in early teens joints, these are guardrails, if I would say that. Guardrails that prevents the vertebra from slipping out, keeping everything in line. And that is ideal. And that's the function of these little tiny joints. In vast majority of adults with stiff neck or stiff upper back or degenerative conditions like spondylosis, there may be spurs, bony outputs near the onsenate process. The uncovertible joints may be degenerative. These are readily seen on an x-ray and often referred to as spondylosis. Now, if there are outpokings, bone spurs in that area near the vertebral artery, the chances of it compressing or rubbing even slightly against the vertebral artery increases dramatically. As a result, it can cause damage, an aneurysm, or a bleeding in the vertebral artery. And some of you may know the hairdresser stroke or salon stroke where ladies go when they tilt their head and neck back, get their hair washed, they experience a stroke. And oftentimes, one of the causes is this. And with that, same principle applies when you do any form of aggressive manipulation or aggressive maneuvers on the neck. The worst of all of these manipulative cares is if you grab or if someone grabs the sides of your neck and yanks on them. That is absolutely a no-no. It's insane to have someone do that. Yes, they may tell you that they have done it for 20 years, 10 years, 30 years, 40 years, and no one has had an issue. Believe me, 
there will be a time that that will become an issue. And the important thing is, you do not want to be the first one who experiences that. Yes, they may have done it for 15 years or 30 years, no matter how many years they've done it, eventually it leads to problems. It would be similar to a drunk driver saying, I have driven drunk for 30 years, I haven't killed anyone. That doesn't justify him driving drunk for any more days or years. Similarly, this is not justifiable under any circumstances, regardless of the person's age, especially for the young, the middle-aged and the elderly, especially for females who are on birth control pills and those who have hypertension or increased blood pressure or those who have spinal disc issues like a bulging or herniations and those who have spondylosis or any kind of instabilities that are causing the neck to be symptomatic you will need to be extremely careful, not just on what is done for you, but who you go to. And if they do want to do this for you, ask them to stop. But you know what? There's one other structure that can get hurt, and that is the most important structure in your body. Now, when you pull and yank like this, everything mobilizes. And sometimes, in some, some circumstances, they wrap a towel, they grab the sides of the towel, and as they yank this way, there may be a person sitting at the other end holding onto your ankles to stimulate and induce more mobility, more forceful. Anchoring you down at one end, yanking on the other end. It doesn't result well. It doesn't do well for you. Why? One, what we covered. Second and most important is the brain and the spinal cord. The brain, we all know, I don't have to go over it. Let me pull George's head up. <clears throat> Technical difficulties. Okay. Now, the brain sits inside the skull. It continues on down, exiting the skull to this little pramina, pramen magnum. The brain stem comes right through here. As it exits, it becomes known as the spinal cord. When you yank, I think I believe I yanked too many times on this and this sits a lot now. <laughs> when they yank that hard, you have to remember the brain or the spinal cord or one organ covered in the same sheet, the dura matter, the covering that is present in your brain and it continues on down through the little hole that I showed you at the base of the skull and down through the spine and connects all the way at the bottom in your tailbone. Now, they're firmly connected to the tailbone. When you yank aggressively here, the entire brain tissue, as well as your spinal cord and all the nerves are jolted. If it is aggressive, it damages the brainstem. Yes, it can harm the brain itself or the spinal cord at any moment from here all the way down there. Especially if you already have some degenerative neuro diseases or neurovascular diseases that you may not be aware of. But safety, above all, is paramount. Never do this as it has multiple impacts. Impacting the brain, the spinal cord that starts here, and the brain stem itself. Now, that would be the worst case scenario. The only thing worse than that would be damaging the vertebral artery, or equally as worse, because that can also cause a stroke. Or damaging your spinal nerves, or creating more damage to your spinal disc. A mild disc bulge can become a severe disc herniation. A small degenerated disc can result into a torn disc of fibers, often reported on your MRI findings as annular tears. These type of movements should not be done. Neck care with manipulation or alignment of the cervical in a soft tissue is effective. But it must be safe. And it must be focused. and must be specific. And above all, it never needs to be aggressive or violent. 
If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. I will, from time to time, share my thoughts on some of the things that you should do and some of the things that you should not do. Aggressive neck hair is never good and should always be avoided. Until our next video and until we meet again, have a wonderful day and a safe journey to your spine and joint care. Take care and have a beautiful day. Thank you.